Hey there, this is Remy Sharp, and I am going to give you some insights into debugging, or at least debugging a problem. Um, I have this code, uh, it's just a small test, um, but when I run it, uh, tap, it takes quite a while. Now, yeah, that takes quite a while for the amount of code there, like six seconds. I'm not expecting the test to take six seconds. Um, and I'm not sure why it's taking six seconds at this point. Now it's loading a few modules, not a big deal. The test, this process answers thing, doesn't raise any red flags for me, there's nothing complicated in there that I thought. So um, I have blogged about it before, but there's a tool called uh, DevTool, uh, which is similar to, um, oh gosh, what's it called? There are some similar tools out there that, uh, do this kind of stuff, um, but this is the one that I'm actually getting a lot of use out of lately. Um, and I'm going to use the uh, profiler, um, which it talks to you. Basically, just do profile, give it a name, and profile. And when I run um, DevTools, it's uh, going to give me these two profiles. So I've just added uh, the boot, uh, wrapped one around the boot time, and then wrapped one around uh, the test. So before I start the test, and when it completes over here. I'm not too bothered about this function, not too bothered about this one either. Um, certainly they're fast in, in other blocks of code. So um, I'm literally debugging this as um, I talk. So instead of uh, tap, I'll use uh, DevTool. And that should fire up DevTool. Um, and I had it on profile, so it's opened it back up on profiles. And I should see the boot and uh, the other one appear shortly. Uh, hopefully, yeah, or not? Oh. Error. Just refresh that. I'll just hit Command R. Uh, see if. Got up here, maybe I didn't hit save. Ah, oh, you plum, I didn't hit save. So, the realities of debugging, forgetting to hit save. Super fun. Ah, uh, here we go. So, this is the boot. And I'm just waiting for the, uh, the actual test to come in. So, we can see the boot to two and a half seconds. It's actually quite a bit. Um, we can look at, I can dig in and see where all the time is going, but I mean, obviously it's all kind of module.load. Um, whoop. So if I click, I actually get to go into uh, what it is that it loaded. I can click and scroll around. I think I can do, no, I can't do that. Can I do that? There are some keyboard shortcuts that I do not know. Um, and like the, the depth of this, uh, this flame chart, is it a flame chart? I think they're called flame charts. Um, the depth has a lot to do with, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, DevTools hooking into, uh, as you can see there, it was a require hook, so that's how it gets all the instrumentation. Two and a half seconds of a boot, uh, but 10 seconds or nine seconds for the um, execution time. Now, there's a whole bunch of kind of, whoop, don't want that one. Let's just make it a bit smaller. So there's a bunch of little bits of uh, functional code here, or code that's running. This seems to be the area that I'm interested in. You can see we've got one of these functions. So anonymous function, logical tree, uh, walk depths, walk depth picker. Now this is familiar to me because um, I wrote this code. So I know that this is uh, my code. And yep, fair enough, this takes a little while because what it does is it works out the full tree, but it, there's no point when I'm actually calling this, or at least that I know. Um, so I'm gonna use uh, this this chart to try and work out, uh, I'm inside of Node at this point, um, try and work out what the hell, how is it running? What is it that's causing that to, to run? So I'm just scrolling to try and zoom in on these functions. Because it must be something just beforehand that's causing it to to run, right? 
Let's try require load modules internal. What's that? That is uh, that belongs to us, I think. Depths. If I hover over, I should get the yeah, sneak resolve depths. I don't see where, I, like, I don't know when this resolve is happening. I mean, I guess it, so. What I could do here actually is um, try and find a point where this is, is loaded and just stick a breakpoint. So um, I think depths, uh, this is the entry point for the code, uh, load modules. Um, I saw it a moment ago. Well, actually, this is an earlier entry point. So physical tree is the depths thing. So I can just sit here, breakpoint there. I'm just going to hit reload, Command R, and sit and wait. Right, so I have a beheaded. Oh no, here we go. So that's it. So it's the stack trace bit. I'm looking at stack trace to find out how, when this was called. And here we go. Sneak modules, current working directory. Aha, because it's doing a monitor. So I need to add in this value. Unfortunately, I can't edit in uh, DevTools. There's a bug in um, Electron. Uh, where is it? There you go. So answers. I think that's what I need to do. I'm just going to hit save and refresh. <coughs> And hopefully we don't hit that breakpoint at all. Just open the console. Yep. Didn't hit the breakpoint. The uh, profiles are finished. So look at the profiles. Run one was 10 seconds. Run two. Oh, look at that. 100 milliseconds. That's what I was looking for. Obviously the boot time is... Twice as long? Probably not. Um, but that's what I was looking for. We've completely ditched, or I've completely ditched that whole massive block of code because it's not required. So now if I exit out of this, go back to my terminal, uh, run tap. Yeah, it's quick. Sweet. Um, obviously the console profile doesn't work because um, it's not there in um, node, unfortunately. Get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. 800 milliseconds, I'm happy with that. Um, cool. Okay, well, that's fixed. Thanks for watching. Um, you were my rubber duck for the day. <laughs>